Hey girl, welcome back to a new vlog. My name is Jasmine. Today's Saturday, July 20, July 23rd. I have uh, about 20, 25 minutes to spare, so I'm gonna stop inside this Old Navy and just see what they got. I have not been in one in literally years. If I see something, I like it, but I'm not gonna buy anything, more than likely. We'll see. It's hot. It's really hot, and I got on leggings. Not the best choice. Have I ever said I stay at a grocery store? Like, I stay at a grocery store. Which grocery stores I shop at? All of them. I shop at all of them. Cause like when I be out, I might as well just like go to the grocery store to get what I need. So that's how I go to like multiple grocery stores easily. So I just filmed a TikTok, something really quick. I needed content. I actually had recipes planned for the rest of the week, well next week, but I needed something to post this weekend because I did not post yesterday. I recreated an old recipe where I turned jam into vinaigrette. And I had some leftover apricot preserves and I decided to just do an apricot jam vinaigrette. And it came out really good. I just need to edit it and get it out there and post it. As you can see, I don't know if you can see this right here. Um, I put it on this salad. This is actually grilled chicken, kale, and some other mixed greens, croutons, and I just put the, the vinaigrette, the vinaigrette on top. If you want the recipe, I will link it so that you can check it out. Literally, you only need a few ingredients, and you can turn that bottom of the jar jam into vinaigrette and make it last longer. Yeah, but I need to hurry up and eat though and start getting ready. I have a bachelorette party to go to tonight for an old coworker, good friend of mine. She's getting married, so happy for her. So I'm excited to see her. Hopefully see a few other people that I'm sure will be there. She wants us to wear blush pink. It's just amazing just to see the growth and not just her but everyone that was there last night. But I almost cried like a few times because everyone just talking about how much they care about her and it just really it was amazing so now today i'm going to brunch it's like a all you can eat kind of like a tapas restaurant but it's mediterranean i'm just running a little bit behind i woke up started working on a few things even on the sunday like answering some emails finally getting around to things that i just did not do and now i have less than an hour to get dressed
does it look like? I just woke up from a nap. Because I did. I slept so hard. I went to bed last night, late last night, and then still woke up at 6 in the morning. Just like my body just like naturally decided to wake up. It was nice and full from brunch. La Vie is on the waterfront. Very beautiful views. Um, I tried to get as much footage as I could. Uh, it was nice to have brunch with the fam. So if you watched my last vlog, I cooked eggs, scrambled eggs, green beans, and then in the eggs I mixed this uh, tuna, tuna chorizo. And at first I was like, mm, that doesn't sound too good. I actually received it as a gift um, from this event that I went to. I was invited as, I guess you can say, an influencer. I went to this event with uh, Balducci's Market and they gave me a little goodie bag of items. In there, I received this um, tuna chorizo from Wild Planet. I was not really feeling the name of it. It kind of threw me off, but once I tried it, it is so good. It is really good. Let me show you what all they got me in the little goodie bag. This is the bag. I keep looking at the at the screen and not the camera. This is um, a really big, like, insulated bag. Okay. First thing, some angel hair pasta. Another pasta, Castatelli pasta. Peruvian pepper jam. Classic steak seasoning. It's a lot of stuff in here. I was really surprised how much stuff they had in here. Primal Kitchen uh, avocado oil mayo. Primal Kitchen buffalo sauce. Another Wild Planet um, product. This is a like a small little ready to eat bowl with wild tuna, beans, and corn. Some more tuna from Wild Planet. Skipjack wild tuna. Goat milk soap. And some hot sauce. They also gave me a little gift card to use in the store. And I actually bought like, um, what was it? Like some watermelon, some yellow and red watermelon with that gift card and a salad that I literally ate the next day for lunch. I slowly start using these items. Got makeup. I think tonight is gonna be. I think tonight is gonna be a retinol night. I did see this thing where to prevent the retinol from like irritating your skin, you can use like a serum beforehand. So use a serum. I'm gonna use like my niacinamide serum and. Put that on my face first, and then put on my retinol, and then my hyaluronic serum after that to minimize the irritation because retinol can irritate your face. All right, just waiting for this to dry. Should always put on retinol on a dry face. Pea size the mount. That's it. And now my now adding the hyaluronic acid. This brightening eye cream. I really like it, but it's all gone. So I'm gonna have to buy some more. Um, and I don't have anything else that I wanna use. And my favorite, the Neutrogena Hydro Boost. Very good for someone like me with oily skin. Now I am done. I also have a body retinol. This is the Firm Ground Retinol Body Lotion. 
by Verse. This you can get this at Target. I use this for like my neck, my hands, and my chest area. I'll also put this on my feet. I prefer to get a retinol that I really like for my face only. Um, since your face is more sensitive. And then I use like a different retinol for necking down. This is usually like my last step. I will usually do this in bed. And it doesn't irritate. It's a lower concentration than like something that I would use on my face. This is a video micro compact on camera microphone by Rode. I've seen a lot of videos about this microphone and um, I did my research. I really liked it and I bought it from Best Buy. I will link it down below. I wanted this microphone because I wanted to improve the quality of the audio, but I wanted it to be small. So this is what it looks like. This is how it came in the box. Um, cost me about $59 at the time of this recording. So this is the furry windshield. You can take this off, looks like. Yes, you can take it off like that. And this is just the suspension mount here and this will go on top of the camera and that's pretty much it i do plan on testing this out pretty much like right now because i want to start using it and see how i like it and get used to having this on my camera you take this sc2 cord you stick one end in the back like this This is my camera. This is a Canon M50. Place this little piece here. You just slide it on in there. Oh, so you can adjust the height. So you can screw it so that you can have a little bit more height in between this mount and the, the microphone. Cause I was like, it's not sliding through. So you can adjust it to give it more space and just screw it back tight. On the side of the my Canon M50, here is um, the spot for the mic. You just open it like that and stick it in and that's pretty much it. That seems easy enough. I also wanted to be able to use this for my iPhone. I'm currently shooting with my iPhone. I have an iPhone 12 Pro X, 12 Max Pro, the big one. So I realized through looking up reviews that this little piece right here, which is the SC2, cable only goes from microphone to camera. It does not pair with an iPhone. So I had to buy a separate cable called an SC7 cable. That was actually a part of this purchase, but they did not have it at the store. I kind of showed that at my last video when I picked up the, the package from Best Buy. So I need to go back to Best Buy to pick it up because they now have it at the store. Now I just need to try it turn the camera on and see how I like it. Let's see. Now you see for vlogging, obviously I want to look at myself and that's part of the reason why I like this Canon M50. They have the M50 Mark II. They both have this same swivel screen so you can turn this around and see yourself. Unfortunately, the mic, the cord is in the way. So in order for you to use this effectively, it's not a deal breaker or anything. You just have to make sure it's turned the way you want it. 
before you put the mic in because if I'm filming from here and I need to see myself, I cannot flip it over. Can't flip it over because this mic cord is in the way. So I just have to unplug it, then move it over, then plug it in. Not a big deal, but it's just more of a an annoyance. Essentially, yeah, because I can't move this. So I'm looking at my reels on Instagram and I noticed that this reel that I posted of this mocktail, it's um, a strawberry mojito mocktail. It's doing really well. Um, better than most. So what does that mean? It means I need to do it again. It means uh, it's working and I need to replicate that. So if you have like a reel that's doing better than average, that may be a sign that they like that type of content. Look at your analytics, do it again. Create a similar recipe and capitalize on the fact that that type of content is doing well. So I'm actually doing another mocktail recipe which I will be posting tomorrow. It is intended to be a grapefruit thyme mocktail. I've done a few, actually I've only done one other mocktail recipe before, which was a rosemary pear mocktail. I think those are the one of the best like set of pictures that I've ever taken of my food photography. I really love those pictures and they always do well on Pinterest. When I search up mocktail recipes, I see like my my rosemary pear mocktail all the time. I will probably add about three or four more and sprinkle them in. Do what works. Do not be afraid of tiring out your followers. No, don't do the same recipe for two weeks straight, but you need to at least do several more of the same things. and go in that direction. I just ordered some groceries with Instant Cart. Tell me why my groceries smell like, smell like weed, sir. I did not pay for my groceries to smell like, like my, this is mainly for aesthetics, props. I'm gonna slice this up Depending on how I like it, the idea is that I'm gonna slice this up and maybe put this on the rim. And then I'm gonna slice a few more pieces and just have them as like food props in the background. The actual recipe, I will be using good old bottled grape juice, grapefruit juice. A lot of times, like with food photography, I have to buy like variations of the same thing because I don't have time to squeeze out enough grapefruit juice for this entire recipe. So I buy enough for the food props and then the rest is like, you know, whatever the, is the most convenient. So they didn't have any time. And I need time real bad. So looks like I'm gonna start to go to the grocery store. I don't want to, but I gotta do what I gotta do. I gotta do this TikTok. And I need to go pick up a few things. Yeah. Yeah. drink recipe I can recreate this literally in two minutes I'm gonna make this again but it's gonna be for Instagram reels it's not gonna take me that long I just need to find a trending audio for Instagram reels I'm trying to create slightly different content for both platforms I don't always want to just post the same I have plenty of um, grapefruit juice plenty more of this time syrup. I also made a second batch 
because I need it for a food prop. So I wanted to make enough so that it will go into this pretty jar or this bottle that I have as a food prop. But this second one here, when I think of this one, I think of it like a stop motion, like a split second of each step. Kind of like you take a picture of each step and then you put it all together. Do you see it? Do you... Okay. Um, I try not to overthink it. Just pick a sound. I will not be spending too much time trying to figure out what audio you want to use for Instagram Reels. This is so good. I want to fix me some more salmon because I have two pieces of salmon that I need to use. I don't really need a recipe. I just eyeball it and it tastes good every time. I could eat it every day. Oh, by the way, is the SC7 cord that I was talking about. This is the cord you need in order for you to connect your microphone to your phone. So this is how it works. I'm just gonna demonstrate this real quick. Just unbox this real quick. This light behind me, Terrible. I really don't like it. I did change the bulb to a daylight bulb and I realized I still don't like it. Yes, the temperature of the, the bulb matters, but I'm convinced that's not the problem. It's just the light fixture and the placement of it. It it makes me it makes me unmotivated. It, it's very hard for me to concentrate with that light on, but if that's the sole light, like I can't get nothing done. I fall asleep, I literally fall asleep. This is my Manfrotto handheld tripod thing. This is an extra attachment that I received for something that else, else that I bought, um, but something to the equivalent that can screw on to your handheld device. This I can put this way, put my phone in like so like that. We're gonna take this SC2 cord out, put the microphone in there like that. Remember, you can screw it tighter. So this will be the setup. The black one just goes in the microphone. But iPhone, Apple does not have the regular microphone jacks anymore. So you need an adapter. Just put it in like that and plug it into your iPhone. And now you have great audio each time. I'm gonna eat this one. Probably would like some yogurt. Throw some yogurt, get some plain yogurt. Cut this up, put it in the yogurt. A little bit of simple syrup. That's gonna be good. Uh. Okay, let's go.
Thursday, July 28th. I did not pick up the camera yesterday. All I did was um, do more content and I worked on a few, on a freelance project that I am doing and um, planned out some things that I have coming up. I have an Instagram takeover that I'm doing or Instagram story takeover that I am doing and I will be making um, a recipe that I've already done before. It is my blender oatmeal pancakes. I haven't even eaten breakfast. I've been fooling around with this video. My very first vlog is edited. I did all the things. It took me several days to edit because this is my first time really editing a vlog. Uploaded it. Um, I used music. I looked up how to use music remixes so that I can use like songs, certain songs in my um, in my videos without getting the copyright claim or strike. I uploaded my video and I got a copyright claim already. It was a song literally at the end. Hurry up and just replace the song with an actual remix that I know for sure won't get copyright. And I'm currently downloading it to my external hard drive, which, which takes a minute. And then I'm going to upload it to YouTube. And hopefully it'll be posted soon. I need to finish getting ready. I got to make a video, a TikTok, within the next hour and a half. And then I'm going for lunch to meet up with a friend. So it's looking like I'm not going to have time to do my TikTok slash Instagram or taking photos before I go to lunch um, and head out. Fooling with the YouTube video. It took longer than expected. Had issues, finally figured it out. And it is live. It is, it is live. I sent it to a few people and we're just gonna move on and check back at a later time. I will not be checking this video every five minutes to see that only two people watched it. Since I didn't have time to do a new video, I'm gonna work on some back-end things until I leave, because that's all I can do right now. Um, I need to do something. Just got back home from eating um, lunch at Tat Bakery and Cafe. 10 out of 10 would recommend. This is my second time going. First time I went, I went to a different location. I feel like they're popping up all over the city. Like they're buying out of properties. And I'm just seeing them everywhere. And I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. It's very much aesthetic. Um, if you like aesthetic, it's very pretty. They have the white tile, very beautiful, very Instagrammable. If you're into that thing, um, lots of natural light. The windows are huge and, um, great vibe. I said I was going to create my little TikTok when I got back home and now I don't feel like doing it, but I'm going to do it anyway because... I need to follow through and stick to what I said I was going to do. And I said I was going to do this. 
So what's up next on the menu? Um, I am making, what is it? Air fryer french fries. We're making it from scratch. I got the potatoes. I got this little cutter thingy. up a YouTube video on how to work this thing cuz girl I thought I could just you know open it and go no mm -mm. so I think I have an idea of how to use it we're gonna try this again potato up in there like that push it push this down is it has these grooves so every time I push down on this it's gonna move up a groove and it's gonna cut the potatoes we need to catch the potatoes I don't have a plate so we're gonna use we're gonna use a paper towel okay That was a little complicated, but I got fries, y'all. I got fries. Okay. so easy to make your own french fries I really don't understand why I used to buy like the bag of french fries frozen as long as you have a way to cut it cuz this little thing right here threw me for a loop but it worked but if you have a way to safely cut the french fries you can literally make them at home and have french fries anytime you want There's been a change of plans today. More like new plans. I am going to the weekend concert. And the concert starts in two hours. Only problem is, I don't have anything to wear. I do not want to go to the store to buy an outfit, so we're just gonna have to find something in my closet, which I feel like I really don't have a lot of um, clothes to choose from, but I'm gonna have to make it work because I can't, I don't have the time or the capacity to go out and find a completely new outfit. So we gonna see, hold on. I have these shorts that I bought years ago. I just found them, just thought about them. I don't even know if I can fit these. Like I bought these from H&M literally i don't even know how long it's been it's been so long bought them never wore them and then i couldn't fit them no more <laughs> um i could not zip them up like i could not zip them up at all so we're gonna see we we're gonna try these on and we're gonna see i've lost a few pounds not much they're on <laughs> Uh, they fit. They're a little tight, but they do fit. 
So I'm basically ready to go. We're just gonna have to work with it. I'm gonna be running a little late, but it's fine. I think I should do an Uber to take me as close as possible to the um, to the stadium. Cause I don't wanna drive. <sighs> That's good enough. All right, now I just gotta find a clutch. Have a clutch. It's really old. I'm just probably gonna have to wear it and call it a day. Business on the wall.